called me a few weeks ago and couldn't get the o-ring in the uh, main needle on a Perry carburetor. The main needle is very similar to the HB carburetor also because HB made Perry carburetors so they use this type of needle knob with an o-ring in it. I spent so much time on the phone with this customer he said he couldn't get it in so then he calls and he says his engine is not running he couldn't get it to run high speed to low speed and vice versa so I said send it in we'll put it in the test and I run it we got it in and the main needle was just about like right here on it which just barely making contact with the o-ring and the o-ring it's i'm trying to screw it in i can't get it to screw in i don't know what the heck's going on so i'm going to take the o-ring out of the needle which was the problem he was having he said he couldn't get it out couldn't get it out <clears throat> and uh i'm going to try to get it out here this is live first time here i don't uh know if, what's going on here with this See, he was saying that he couldn't get the old O-ring out, and it was bad. And this doesn't look like a new O-ring that he's got in here. I don't know what he's got in here. There's part of it. Um, I'm gonna try to scrape out the rest of this groove. It appears somebody used uh, um, CA on it, from the way it feels here. I don't know what the heck he's got in there. Maybe epoxy, but that I can't really see that well. Put a brand new needle valve in this because that other needle valve is just hopeless. I'm not going to spend hours trying to pick out the epoxy that somebody put in there. When you put a needle valve in, screw it all the way in until it seats, and then you can just blow through the, a piece of fuel line to see if it actually seats. And so it's shut off right now. And, and a little bit of leakage isn't going to cause any problems because you're not going to run the engine that lean. So I'm just going to back it out ways here and check again okay I can hear air going through it got a lot of air going through it I'm going to uh, test run this on the test stand first before I go pull in part the rest of the carburetor and we'll see if we can get it to run like that so let's go back to the test stand priming the engine a little bit
So what do you think of that? Didn't have to clean the carburetor, didn't have to do anything. We just put a new needle valve in it. And it works great. I'm going to use my Fox four-way wrench. And there's our Hayes fuel tank. I actually took one of the rejects and put it here. So now we're all set. Let it cool off. I'm actually using an HB61 muffler. HB used to sell the mufflers for the uh, KMB 61. They actually bought them in the beginning. And this is an earlier KMB 61. It does not use the collet on the prop driver. It just has two flats on it. They went to a collet design because the flats tend to pound themselves out. So the HB muffler fits perfect. It fits the KMB 61, the HB 61, the Webra 10cc. They're all the same mounting pattern. The odd thing on the uh, HB muffler uses a 544 thread, which is a real oddball. KMB normally used a 540 thread, and they also used slotted head screws that were custom made just for these mufflers. The uh, 540 thread's a common thread, and this one's just a finer thread. I don't know why they did that. There may have been a miscommunication or something in the beginning, because these were made in Germany. And I'm surprisingly, all, most of the HB engines were held to uh, American standards, not uh, metric standards. And there's our repair department muffler. I'm going to let it cool off, and then we'll go back inside.